I recognize that loopy G. So, what does the jerk tell us? Nothing good. The brain's losing control of the body. Can't order the eyes to focus, regulate sleep patterns, or control muscles. A movement disorder or degenerative brain disease. Either way, this kid's gonna be picking up his diploma and diapers in a wheelchair. Maybe not that bad. Could be an infection. You wish. No fever, no white count. Anyone think this differential diagnosis might be compromised because we don't have an accurate family history? I took an accurate family history. You didn't even take an accurate family. His father's not his father. Why would you say that? 30% of all dads out there don't realize they're raising someone else's kid. From what I've read, false paternity is more like 10%. Yeah, that's what our moms would like us to believe. Who cares? If he got it from his parents, they'd both be dead by now. Can we get on with the differential diagnosis? 50 bucks says I'm right. I'll take your money. Hit a nerve? Don't worry for him. And I'm sure the guy who tucked you in at night was your daddy. Make it 100. What about leukoencephalopathy in a 16-year-old? It doesn't necessarily have to be that bad. If we exclude the night terrors, it could be something systemic. Is liver, kidneys, something outside the brain? Yes. Feel free to exclude any symptom if it makes your job easier. The night terrors were anecdotal. He could have had a bad dream. No. Parents said he was conscious during the event and didn't remember anything afterwards. That's a night terror. Parents said? Good point. Before we condemn this kid, maybe we should entertain Dr. Chase's skepticism. I want a detailed polysomnograph if he's having night terrors. I want to see them. We don't move during night terrors. I'm not restraining you for them. EEG revealed abnormalities in your brain caused nerve damage in your toes. <laughs> what are you doing? Fixing it. Can I talk to my parents? Oh, they know all about this. I'd really like to see them. Please, I really like them here. This is gonna hurt Dan. <sighs> oh God. Oh. <sighs> CT, MRI, CBC, Chem 7, and chest x-ray. All the tests came back normal. There's nothing to explain the symptoms. Okay, but well let's pretend there's something and go from there. Who sees something on this MRI? No lesions in the white matter. No structural abnormalities. No space-occupying tumors. He's 16, so he should have an absolutely pristine brain. The smallest thing is abnormal. Meningeal enhancement. My bet is viral meningitis. Excellent. Did you see what he did there? Took a small clue that there's a neurological problem and wasn't afraid to run with it. There's no evidence of meningitis on that MRI. No, there's not. He's completely wrong. Then what clue are you talking about? He knew that I saw something on the MRI, so he figured there must be something there and took a guess. Clever, but also pathetic. So what did you find? Take a close look at the corpus callosum. It looks okay. Are we all looking at the same thing? 200 million interhemispheric nerve fibers, the George Washington Bridge between the left and right side of the brain. It's subtle. There's some bowing. There. An upward arch. Are you guessing? Yes. Too bad, you're right. He probably just moved. Nobody stays perfectly still for their entire MRI. Yeah. He probably got restless and shifted one hemisphere of his brain to a more comfortable position. Something is pushing on it. If there was Boeing, could be a tumor. Do you see a tumor on this MRI? No, but I don't see any Boeing either. There's no tumor, just a blockage causing pressure, causing symptoms. Today, night terrorist, tomorrow, he's bleeding out of his eyes. Get him a radionucleotide sternogram, I guarantee you'll see a blockage. Okay. Oh, easy. Now I'm in 
injecting the material that's tied with the radioisotopes. It's going to enter your spine and travel up to your brain. It'll make you able to think deep thoughts. Run 100 miles an hour. Their eyes aren't the same color, but that fleck in the eyes, it's maybe a one in ten chance if they're not related? No. House isn't going to pay you based on that. <laughs> Any excuse we can give the folks to justify DNA tests? We could tell him he's got Huntington's. Whole family should be tested or they'll all die. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's a lot of blockage. I've scheduled in for surgery. We're going to put a shunt into one of the ventricles to give the cerebrospinal fluid and out. No more pressure. Everything goes back to normal. He's lucky to have you as his doctors. 